video, I'm going to talk about Filofax. As I've talked about before, um, I was using this Jibun Petru Biz as my main planner for 2022, and I am in the process of transitioning into this uh, planner from Barnes & Noble because this wasn't working out. Ironically, once I started to use this and incorporate this into my day-to-day, -day, I was using this more often and it was working better. So I'm still figuring out what I'm going to do and I'll definitely post an update about that. I feel like over the next few months I want to figure out things that are going to work well for 2023 so I can plan my planning accordingly. <laughs> um, but what I wanted to talk about really today is Stylofax. I don't know if I've mentioned it on my channel before. Um, I used to be really into Filofax. Does anybody remember the desk of Adam? Um, it was a guy in England named Adam. He used to run a blog about stationery, specifically planning and Filofaxes. Uh, this had to have been 2015-ish, I think. Um, that's when I really started to get into like Traveler's Notebooks and stuff. And then I think he stopped uploading or he stopped his website. So I had followed him, followed him on Instagram and then he doesn't really, I don't think he really does stationary stuff anymore. This was a couple years ago. So again, um, he's the one that kind of sparked my interest creatively into planning in general. Um, so I had purchased this Filofax back in, I don't know, 20... 15, 2016, I had got it when I lived in Moscow, so I don't know if I got it at like one of the nice stationery stores there, or I got it when I was in London on one of my like quick trips that I did, um, cause I know this is made, this is one that was made in the UK, this is the navy blue leather, this is the personal size, which I think is a good size, the reg the big one is too big and this pocket one is too small for me. <laughs> Um, so I had used this for a while. I really liked the professional look of it. I like the blue leather, of course. I feel like I always go for these navy blue things, don't I? Um, and I, I just used it a lot. But then something about like the rings involved and I just stopped using it for a while and switched over to my, um, you know, between Hobonichi or Jibun or my Moleskine planner I used, my Leuchtturm planner I used for a while because um, on those you could actually write on the... So I keep mentioning this, but at my job I used to always have to walk around and sign papers. So people would hand me papers and I have to sign them. So I always had like a hardback planner to carry around with me so I'd be able to do that. You would not be able to do that on something like this with a nice leather because you also don't want to mess it up. But while I was organizing today and just catching up with some of my stationery, this has been sitting out on my, on my bookshelf in my living room, kind of like on display, probably since I moved to where I live now a year ago. And I was just curious about where I left off with this because I know I didn't get any Filofax inserts for 2022. So it had to have been at least 2021, if not 2020. And I thought we could open this together on one of my videos to see what it, what it once was. Um, Full disclosure, the only thing I did was I wiped this down a little bit with a microfiber cloth because there was some dust on it. You can see there's kind of some indents from when this was in one of my suitcases when I moved back to the US, but um, it's still really nice, high quality. Yeah, so first thing that came out of it was this ballpoint pen. I love these, it's from Zenith. I used to, I have a bunch, but I used to get them in Poland. It's a Polish brand, so every time I'm in Warsaw, I would buy these and I would buy the refills because it's just like a classic ballpoint pen. I would equate it to like a Parker Jotter uh, and they're made in Poland and I just love them. I have not gone back to Poland in almost three years so I don't know when I'm gonna get to go again. So I don't take this out of the house because I don't wanna lose it, but that's the Zenith. Um, so let's open it up. It has a snap closure. And first thing are some parking um, receipts that I was supposed to submit to work, but I guess I'm not getting that money back now, am I? Um, so this had to have been, let's see the date, February 2021. So it looked like that's probably the last time I had used this. OK, 
okay, and then I have a little sticker where I wrote to myself, today is a nice day to liberate yourself. Okay, made in the UK. So this is an original, made in the UK. And it has like the different pockets here and the elastic. So I don't, I couldn't tell you which inserts it came with and which I had purchased along the way. Let's just go through. So my first tab here looks like, okay, February 2021, March 2021, um, is just the checklist. I remember these are what I used the most when I was organized on my work tasks. Tab two looks like a calendar from 2021. Okay, so this was the last actual calendar that I had used. And it seemed like a good idea at the time, but I will tell you why it did not work for me. I bought this refill on Amazon and I thought it would be good because my issue with the file effects was that I feel like it's even though it's a big planner the amount of paper and space you have to write is actually really tiny if you take away this and you take away like the rings you really only have like almost a post like a literally a post-it size area to work with that's all you have. So two of those, regardless of what kind of layout you have, you only really had two of those to write on. And it just didn't feel good for me because I felt like I wrote a lot. So I wanted to try something different where I did two days on a page. So I ordered that spread for 2021. And at first I was like, okay, this is cool. I have plenty of space to write stuff and all that. But it felt weird because two days on a page and it wouldn't be consistent. So like the bottom left would be Monday or Friday. Well, no, I guess it is Monday and Friday is always on the bottom left. But when you look at a week, you think of five days in a week or you like Monday to like Monday through Sunday or Monday starting here, Sunday ending here. And sometimes just looking at it, it was hard to plan ahead when I, I have to double check which day of the week I was actually looking at. I think because we're so used to having five on a spread or one page a day, or this is one day like per page, but having four on a spread kind of threw me off. Like, and this is Thursday. So when you're looking at this layout, you're thinking this would either be Sunday or Monday. So I don't know. Also, I love that I wrote questionable decisions made quickly in quotes. I have no idea what I was doing or where I was on Thursday. March 11, 2021, that that brought up that quote. Probably one of my linguistic seminars, which one of my professors I'm working with. Anyway, um, okay, so we have this spread. Uh, see, this, and this is also when I moved, so I was going through a lot of chaos at that time, so I probably hadn't used it since I moved. So that is, I don't know what they call it, two page a day, or two days a page. Do not recommend it, didn't work for me. Um, then I have a contacts list. This might have came with the actual original Filofax. And I know I bought these color page inserts when I was in Vienna or Thessaloniki, somewhere when I was in Europe and I had went to a stationery store because I think Filofax is a little bit more common in Europe than it is in the States. So when I'd be over there, you could go to like a regular stationery store and buy different inserts pages, whatever, for like two or three euros, where here it would probably cost a lot more. And of course I have my Tokyo Fun Shop sticker. And then I always like having a plastic case. I feel like I bought this one for two euros or something, but then this one came with my actual Filofax. This was a great thing to manage when I was moving. So when I did my international moves and I had a lot of paperwork, um, like Tickets, documents, checks, cash, different kinds of cash, things having to go to and from the bank, financial institutions. I feel like a file effects is great for that just because of the nature of it with the rings and it's almost, it's very professional looking and yeah. So, and this is just a little notepad. This came with it too. I don't think, is there anything? No, it's just the back of the notepad back there. So that is my file effects personal, original personal planner I know that I would not buy the two the insert that I had but I'm not going to get anything for 2022 because it's almost 2023 y'all um but I'm not writing this off as something I would not try in 2023 I really think I might I might go there I don't know
We'll see. We'll see how this transition to this Barnes & Noble planner and Jibun Techo all works out. Jibun Techo all works out. But yeah, so thanks for listening to me chat about file effects. Let me know in the comments below if you use file effects or if you like to modify one or you have any recommendations of good places to get inserts. I am also one of those crazy people that I like to buy the actual brand of the inserts. I know I've purchased stuff off their US store. I think it's based in Texas. I don't know why that is. Like I don't buy non-Travelers Company items for my Travelers Notebook, just like I only buy Filofax branded items for my Filofax. I'm certainly sure one of y'all makes amazing inserts on your Etsy store that I could buy or customize something for this. So maybe that's what I need to look into for 2023. Because the goal is to actually do what works for us, right? So anyway, thanks again and take care.